they're back. That took a while. Uh, um. Oh. Uh. Ahem. My fellow Mara Shosei hunters, please forgive me, for I have sinned. Tone it down. S sorry. <clears throat> After crossing swords with you and witnessing your courage in battle, I've rediscovered my true self and regained my pride as a Mara Shosei hunter. Oh, do I smell a redemption arc? I confess, I was brainwashed by the evil sorcerer. He asked me to lure you here so he could bury you in this cave. That little... Wait, you're saying all of that wasn't you but the evil sorcerer? That's right. He's adept at manipulating the hearts and minds of the people. I fell under his influence because I did not possess a strong enough sense of will. Huh. And how are you going to prove that you're a changed man? We're not going to fall for the same trap twice! Um... To be perfectly honest, I only came to my senses after seeing the treasure. It reminded me of my father's past teachings. The treasure was actually... The names of all the Mar Shosei hunters from ages past and their weapons? Wait, you... already know? Of course. Don't underestimate a veteran role player's exploration skills. Oh wait, I mean Mar Shosei hunter Navia's exploration skills. <laughs> we just finished reading through the content of the stone tablet. That tablet recorded the lives of some fascinating people. For example, this Mara Chassé hunter called Est. She inherited the responsibilities of the Golden Hunter and passed judgment on many people. But in private, she had a very easygoing personality. Her favorite pastime was singing and dancing with her friends. And she was said to have a beautiful voice. So, she was just like you. Oh, you really think so? Well, when you put it that way, I suppose I also have a few things in common with this Walter. Working as an executioner, he supposedly used a countless number of tricks to confound his enemies in battle. Oh, if only I could have seen the feats of magic he pulled off back then. Their lives were all so exciting. You could write so many cool books about their accomplishments. How could they have all been forgotten? Because they chose to be. To hunt monsters that only appear in the shadows, you must also operate in the dark. To be a Mara Shosei hunter is to willingly give up on wealth and fame. Then this stone tablet must have been left behind by their companions. That's right. Few Mara Shosei hunters ever revealed their identity to the public. They always protected the city from the shadows. The only time they spoke of their accomplishments would be at night, when they gathered with their fellow hunters in front of the bonfire to share stories of the monsters slain by their hand. So, this tablet was created not so that the hunters would be remembered by the people, but so that they would be remembered by each other. No wonder this place was so well hidden. You regard the stone tablet in solemn silence, the names of your comrades etched onto its surface serve as a reminder that you are never truly alone. The tablet proves that, although a hunter walks a shrouded path, it is not a solitary one. There will always be those who walk beside you, a fact that remains as true today as in ages long past. Their legacies shall continue to be passed down from generation to generation, as everlasting as the stone onto which their names are carved. Father, you once told me that I should seek out the treasure if I ever became lost. So this is what you wanted me to find. His eyes are sincere and his words ring true. You can tell that every word he spoke just now came from the bottom of his heart. 
I implore you, everyone. Please give me a chance to make up for all I've done. Allow me to fight alongside you and defeat the evil sorcerer that threatens the peace and prosperity of everyone in this kingdom. Well, I say we let you join. Sounds good to me, too. Everyone makes mistakes. What matters is what you do to make up for them. I have no objections, but... Mr. Florian, do you even know how to defeat the evil sorcerer? Hmm... When he took over my mind, I gained some insight into his thoughts. Every time I thought of the treasure, he reacted with a strong sense of fear. Huh? He's... afraid of the treasure? But there's nothing here except some broken weapons and the stone tablet! What if... the secret's hidden inside these weapons? A GM, permission to investigate! At first glance, the weapons appear absolutely ordinary. But as you observe them, you notice a faint energy emanating from within. These blades have slain countless monsters. Though it's been a long time since they were used in battle, their edges remain sharp, as if they're simply waiting for the next worthy hunter to carry on their legacy. So basically take these with us, right? I'll take this weapon, since it used to belong to Est. Maybe it'll find comfort in being held by someone who appreciates the arts. Ah, oh, good idea. I'll take Mr. Walter's bow then, from one archer magician to another. Hmm. Paimon's gonna pick a cool weapon too! As you grip your weapons, you can almost feel the will of past hunters coursing through your being. It's a feeling of courage, determination. A silent vow passed down from generation to generation that says, eradicate the monsters, no matter the cost. Mr. Florian, do you know where to find the evil sorcerer? I was able to see his surroundings when our minds were connected. I believe he's currently hiding out at the church in the kingdom. We must be extremely careful. He's spent so long living among monsters that he's now taken the form of one. He will not be easily defeated. Then why don't we explore some more and try to find some higher level gear? We don't want to just fight him and lose, right? Oh, um... No, we have to strike now. He was greatly weakened when I managed to break out of his control. If we let him rest, he might have time to escape. I agree with Mr. Florian. We've got to act while we have the advantage. Don't forget, the people of the capital are counting on us. Yeah, now that we've got a plan, there's no point in waiting. The longer this drags on, the worse it will be for everybody. Yes, yes, that's what's called... Yes, that's exactly right. All right, you've persuaded Paimon. Mr. Florian, please lead the way. Of course, follow me. He had to set up so many scenes today, and now he has to join in for this last part. I really don't envy his job. <laughs> Finally, you decide to slay the evil sorcerer and bring peace back to the kingdom once and for all. As you walk away, you feel the gaze of the stone tablet at your back, as if all the hunters of the past are wishing you success in the battle ahead and awaiting your triumphant return. <laughs>